I think it's uh, about nearly good evening to you down there in lovely Auckland. Man, I want to start off, oh, the all black media must be licking their lips at what is happening with the Springboks. Or am I wrong? <laughs> you saw the package and what uh, the reporter alluded to, obviously. 2007, England missed a few players, including their legendary flyer of Johnny Wilkins in France 2011. Not so much the case, but the Springboks do have so much of talent in their squad, which means surely now there has to be some sort of turnaround for Heine Kamea. A few changes, of course, with regards to the captain also. Well, the number one is Ben Franks. They've got Cody Taylor at hooker and Charles Fumina at tight head prop. Their lock pairing will see Samuel Whitelock and Luke Romano. And, of course, their loose trio. Sam Kane will be captaining this time for the first time. He's in place of Richard McCaw. Victor Vito as the eighth man. And, of course, their blindside flanker in Liam Messer. Let's take a look at their attack. And their backs, of course, from 9 to 15. One of the most talented, as you heard Matt say, are their halfback pairing. Bjorn Barrett, TJ Peronara. And of course, we look at that midfield. What a powerful midfield there. Malikai Fakitawa. And of course, Sunny Bill Williams. You've got Julian Survey on the left wing. Neher Milner Scudder on at 14. And of course, Colin Slade sitting at the full back position. Sports anchor Faraz Patel. Very good evening to you, Faraz. What can you look forward to in the sports news tonight? Good evening, Nsinga. Yes, of course, now we know we'll be contesting the 2015 Champions League final. Juventus against Barcelona. It's going to be an absolute humdinger come the 6th of June at the Olympic Stadium in Berlin. I'll have more for you in just under half an hour. Thank you so much, Nsinga. And we obviously start off with Bafana Bafana now ahead of the Kosafa Cup, which takes place later this month. Bafana Bafana took on Lesotho in an international friendly in Maseru. Now the match ended goalless and... Coach Sheikh Mashaba gave a lot of new faces uh, their opportunities. Jackson Mabuhwane, of course, he took the captain's armband. And obviously, we saw the likes of Moiketsi Sekolo playing Cole Alexander. So, goal is draw there for Bafana Bafana as they continue their preparations. They'll be looking to win this competition, but they know they'll be some tough opposition. Juventus have booked their place in the final of the Champions League after defeating Real Madrid 3-2 on aggregate. The Italian Giants drew one all in the second leg semi-final match last night, but that was not enough to see them advance and reserve a date with Barcelona in Berlin. Now that's all the sport I have for you for tonight. It's back to you, Nzinga. Thanks for the sports update, Faraz. Catch up with all the sports news of the day with my colleague, Faraz Patel. And uh, of course, uh, you're going to be giving us yet another update on Bafana Bafana's victory. Yeah, another another amazing performance by them. They got the win as a morale booster, but still they have a lot of work left. 2022 FIFA World Cup host Qatar have confirmed that everything regarding preparations for the world's biggest showpiece is going out as planned. England issued a statement a few weeks ago back mentioning that they are interested in hosting the World Cup in 2022, which is meant to be staged in Qatar.